Welcome back to Cooking in the Cabin. Today we're going to cook some honey lime enchiladas and boy are they ever good. We're going to start out with the Instapot using about five frozen chicken breasts. You're going to add in about eight ounces of chicken broth. Always make sure to add liquid when you're using the Instapot. You're going to season with about a teaspoon of salt or as much as you prefer. And then I like to add in some ranch seasoning as well. You can leave this out if you want, but it gives it an extra good flavor. Then you're going to put your lid back on and set your vent to seal. And then click pressure cook. And I like to cook mine for an hour. You can cook them for 30 minutes. I just think that they get a lot more tender during the hour. Once they're done, you can drain them and then put them in a bowl. And then you're gonna shred the chicken up. I use a meat masher to shred my chicken. And then once it's all shredded, we're gonna get to the marinade, which is lime and honey, which makes these enchiladas super yummy. You're going to start by putting in a teaspoon of lime, either in the bottle or fresh. You can do more or less if you want, and then about two tablespoons of honey. And again, more or less to your preference. Then you're going to stir this all up, and once it's all stirred, you're going to put some plastic wrap over it and set it in your fridge. I usually try to make this recipe early in the morning, the chicken, and just let it sit in the fridge until it's supper time. But you can do it however you like. And then, when it's time to make the enchiladas, you take out your flour tortillas, your chicken, and your cheese, and you wrap it all up in the tortilla shell, and place them in your baking pan that it has a little bit of enchilada sauce on the bottom. This was my son's first time making enchiladas, so I think he did a pretty good job. And by the end, he was getting the rolling part down. I think it's so important to teach our young people to cook so they don't always have to be in the habit of going to fast food when they're older. Next, you're gonna take your heavy whipping cream. I use the whole container since I'm doing a double batch. And then a whole can of green enchilada sauce. If you're just doing one batch, you could do half of the container of whipping cream and half of the can of green enchilada sauce. Put them in there, stir them together. Then you're gonna take this sauce, pour it all over the enchiladas. Take some of your remaining cheese and top over the enchiladas as well. And bake in your oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. They should come out looking something like this. Serve them up with rice or chips or whatever you prefer. We like to use rice usually and a little salsa. Thank you for joining us today. We're so glad that you came along to watch us make honey lime enchiladas. And we hope that you will try the recipe too. Apparently it was a funny time. <laughs> we hope that you like, subscribe, and come back every week to see more great recipes. Thanks for joining us today with Cooking in the Cabin.